23 days. That's how long it's been since Alicia Watts was last seen in Charlotte. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce tonight traveled to Anson County, where her community is demanding accountability for those who are not telling authorities everything. This is the third vigil in three weeks Alicia Watts' family and friends have held. 23 days with no answers, but they reiterate that in their heart, they feel she is coming home soon. We lift up Alicia before you on tonight, God. Ask you, Lord, to have mercy, to God. Ask you, God, to bring her home, God. This is more than just a prayer. It has become a battle cry for Alicia's friends and family, one they've pushed out each day since her disappearance, one they won't stop sharing. I declare and I decree that Alicia Watts is coming home. In the name of Jesus. Tuesday night's vigil spot is the Anson County DMV, a crucial location in Alicia's story. We want to feel her presence in any way that we can. Uh, we have gone to her house where she lives uh, in Foxfire just to anticipate that we can get a vibe because we are missing her tremendously. She was last seen on July 6 in Charlotte after taking a trip with her boyfriend, James Dunmore. Her car was found two days later in this parking lot with Dunmore in it. Authorities later searched his house for evidence of murder. He has not been charged in her disappearance. Let us know something. Stand with the family. Stand with the friends. Sheriff, where are you? Detectives, where are you? Let us know so we can figure out and shorten out our distance of search. Well, it's hard for Alicia's community to know what's true, who to trust. They say their faith will not fail them, and it will not fail her. We need to search for the living and not for the dead. And our searches will reveal where she is. We get discouraged, but we don't give up. This same group held a search party over the weekend going to places that law enforcement have been and places they feel law enforcement have missed. And right now they're trying to schedule another party in Anson County. Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.